Greetings again, teammates. Welcome to this episode of the LDHR Toolman. We've been exploring how to understand and use the key tools for the leadership pipeline process. Today we'll take a look at the main tools to implement the leadership selection process in the deploy step. This provides an effective standard process to help ensure we're able to select the right people for needed leadership roles. The deploy step is covered in the Leader Transitions Toolkit, which can be found at leadertransitions.org. This toolkit combines two integral processes, the leadership selection process and the leader transition process. As the diagram illustrates, the process begins with a leadership vacancy, which requires the application of the leadership selection process and results in the appointment of a new leader for the role. At this point, the leader transition process is initiated to help ensure the new leader is able to experience a fruitful leadership transition. As we mentioned, our focus today will be on this leadership selection process and some key tools to help in its implementation. So let's walk through this toolkit together. Simply click here. The leadership selection process is an open, fair and objective process used by our organization to ensure that all suitable candidates for leadership positions are considered, screened, and selected in a way that's both honoring and effective. It introduces three important steps, listing candidates, gathering information, and selecting the leader. So let's take a look at each of these steps. First of all, step one is listing candidates, which seeks to generate a short list of three to five candidates who have potential to fill the leadership need based on set criteria. To help determine what the criteria are for the specific role and who may meet these criteria, you'll need to refer to tools used in the Identify step, Identifying Leadership Needs Worksheet, and the Assess step, Staff Tracking Summary Sheet, and People Meeting Summary Sheet. These tools are located in the People Pathways Toolkit in the Leadership Pathway. Step 2 is Gathering Information. It involves collecting, compiling, and summarizing pertinent candidate inf information needed to select the most suitable person for the leadership role. In addition to considering information from step one, this also includes gathering information from references and conducting interviews with each candidate. Tools in this toolkit include some sample reference questions and interview questions and a candidate summary sheet. On this sheet, you can track the different candidates and provide a summary of information for a number of important areas. Step three is selecting the leader. Here, information from the candidate summary sheet and other sources is used by the selection team to determine the most suitable candidate and appoint them to the leadership role. Now, of course, when a new leader is appointed, the leader transition process should be initiated to help ensure a fruitful leadership transition. And we'll explore the leader transition process at another time. Well, these are the key tools for the leadership selection process in the deploy step. As always, I encourage you to review the tools and practice using them. Until next time, this is the LDHR Toolman. Enjoy using your LDHR tools.